from us. God wants us to serve him, right? But he doesn't need us to fix the situation. Because if you ever thought about it like this, the situation that he's put in your life is not for you to fix, but it's to fix you because it's going to change your mind. It's going to open up your mind to a totally different thing. It's going to change your perspective, right? It's going to... It's going to just unlock so many new ideas for you. It's, it's like a video game, even though life ain't a game. It's like a video game. You get to the next level, and then you learn something that you previously didn't know, and then you get to the next level, and then you learn something that you previously didn't know, and then you keep going and going and going and going and going, and then before you know it, you're standing right before Jesus Christ. Right? So as I was saying earlier, we got to get fired up. we got to get pumped up. This dude right here, Shane Bateman, he's running laughs around the church going crazy. And that's because he loves God, and he means it, and it's hard. But... <laughs> I hate to say it, but I got people in here like this, man. Like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just being honest. Like, how are you going to sit back on your pew whenever someone 2,000 whatever years ago was beaten and was docked for you? That doesn't make sense to me. And yeah. sense to me. And another thing is, how can you not serve God? Like, there's so many great things and there's so many, I don't want to say benefits because that goes against what I was saying earlier. But there's so many great things about God that it's just nearly impossible to not love Him and to not serve Him. Because God is always going to be in your corner. And no, it isn't always easy. And no, you're not always going to immediately get through something. But with time and with God's help, you're going to get through something. If you just keep pushing. And that's, that's why it's hard to keep that hunger. Because once you have that hunger, it's so e easy to lose it. And I've been guilty of that myself. I've had the hunger of God, but then I'll let distraction get in my way. Yeah. I'll let anxiety get in my way. I'll let fear get in my way. There's a song that says, uh, it's talking about, you know, killing your depression and your anxiety and all this because God isn't through with you. God isn't done with you. And that's what I want to tell everyone tonight is God isn't done with any of you. Like, even if you don't see your purpose, God is going to reveal your purpose to you. And your purpose may be just handing out a church card to a custodian at your school or praying for somebody at your job or just just praying for someone on the street or your purpose could be to be a pastor or you could travel to Africa and China and all these places and be a missionary and spread the word of God. That's not for me to tell you. That's not for the pastor to tell you. That's not for anybody to tell you except God. And once God tells you that, if you don't take it seriously, he will take it away from you and say, all right, I'm going to give it to someone else who will actually do it. It's not that